Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back here to Simo TV. It is time for map number two, best out of three single elimination in the second qualifier for the Sevo Season 9 Pro League with Van Silly and Dust, Energy Esports versus Selfless. Energy Esports just got us banking on the first map on Inferno 16 to 5. Now it is their map choice on Dust 2. Will they have what it takes to bring it to cash? I would certainly hope so. I mean, I think energy is good enough on this map to be able to take this to cash, but we'll just have to see what form they're in. They are going to see Selfless going straight up for a B-Rush right off the bat. Uber able to get out here with the Glock. He's checking all the corners. He's clearing things out. No one's died yet, miraculously, but finally energy are able to get the kill there. Nifty does trade one, but it seems like energy are shutting this down pretty handedly. Relics staying alive, three versus one. It was already an aggressive rotation from the CTs already. Because by the time Uber made it in, there was already two guys from the CT side at B double doors. And yeah. A nice pop flash that actually helped energy uh, to actually stay alive for the longest time inside the B bomb site to have a four man hold inside that uh, inside B. Yeah, so great start for energy. I think that's something they just kind of needed for themselves, for their morale, to be able to pull out the pistol. That, that means they can just kind of reset, forget about Inferno. We already got around. This is our map. Let's just keep it going. So we are going to see them overload mid here. They're actually going to push two players towards the back of Cat. Like, they're going to leave the charge with the FAMAS on the back of that nade. Peter does take a little bit of damage here. Science at that lower. We're picking up towards that catwalk as well as Legia spots three at the barrels. Takes down one, but quickly traded out long range. MP9 still going to work, but it's a two for two at the end of the day between these two teams. Peter, Gobby, and Justin versus Mainline, Uber, and Relics. Three of them actually fairly low for Team Selfless. Make that only two now after Gobby has headshot at Mainline with the UMP on the top of the Xbox. All oh, that nade just barely misses there. Relic still sitting on top of Xbox. Gobby looking to re-peek. I don't think Selfless will expect this, so the chance he can just start mopping some of this up and making sure energy secure their second round. But Uber still with decent HP and an SMG, so he still can pose a threat. That is for certain. He's got the bomb on his back here in lower B. Kind of quiet right now. Selfless hasn't really made any decisions just yet. Looks like Relics is starting to clear out stairs. Looks like they may try to take him to the same bomb site, which, in fact, there is no one actually here. They could plant the bomb. Mm -hmm. They still have a lot of time to work with, so that's fine for them to hold it slowly up on that mid side. But now Peter hears them both on the shoulder trying to go for the scout. Jump scout misses that shot. And then they're going to move in and try to get the bomb planted. It might even work, so time to play the retake for energy. But what they wanted. Has Whoa. worked. Peter gets shot through the smoke. Really dropping down into two versus one. And it is stopped then by Garby at long range, at long, with the UMP. And now that's going to be two unanswered rounds, but a bomb plant coming in from Selfless that could turn things around. Yeah, definitely gives them a little bit of extra money, that's for sure. I mean, I think they did pretty heavy with Tech Nines and stuff this round, so they couldn't really buy off the back of it. Uh, but they will certainly have a nice healthy buy come round number four. There's this extra $800 will certainly add on to that. Um, but yeah, good round there from Energy. They kind of gave up the site, but well, they played retake really well. That's the sixth shot that Peter hit through the smoke with the P2K. So he's starting to get a little bit of uh, of the, I guess, RNG god shining down upon him here on Dust 2 with that. So of course, they grace selfless quite a lot uh, on map one. So they salvage the scout, but Peter goes with a knot for this round. Could be dangerous. Mainline trying to go for a deep pick at long, Ooh. and there you go. No one deep. The silver off. Gets the first kill, and then Gobby runs out of bullets, so he cannot spray anything more up at long. Now, the nade's gonna come through. That might hurt. Nope, it was a little bit too far back towards that. Uh, <laughs> Did you see what Leggy just yes, tried to that's do? That's awesome. <laughs> towards that. Uh, would have been pit awesome. Side. So they're not trying not to let Peter get that AWP, so he keeps it towards the car. <laughs> so, two of them with Deagles. UMP, small armor for relics. Legia takes down Nifty. So that's a we huge fragger down. And so the bomb got reclaimed by relics. He's just waiting to see what Mitch is going to be able to do. He could actually even throw the bomb to Mitch. There it is. There's the throw. Mitch is going to be able to go and grab that. So there could be another bomb plant coming up here. Which will be good enough, but if they try to cross this now, Ligia is still trying to watch it. 44 seconds off of the clock, and too much time has been wasted. Now, Silent has already made it up on that catwalk. So then, Sooner Grenade being thrown. They cannot commit towards that site to plant yet. 
Relics is going to look for a 1D moving up towards this connector side. Spots and both switches over to the UMG. Lining up Legia and Mitch crossfires him down. Just a minute scout shot, but then switches over to the P250 to get that double kill. And it is now 3 to 0, but Selfless coming in with the gun round. Yeah, now we're going to see Justin be able to pick up that off that Legia was unable to fit off the map. And so that means that Peter will be able to get it. So it's actually saves a little bit of money in the long run that that didn't work out. Nifty can be able to get his out for the first time. So here's Selfless' first full buy. And so we'll see what they're going to be able to come up with as Nifty is going to go ahead and take the duel at the middle. He will not be contested. He's not going to hit his shot either. So we are going to see Energy going for a pretty heavy long A to start with with three players. They're going to be able to get Gobby inside the pit, who is kind of their A bomb side anchor from all the games I've seen so far. With Justin and Silent playing together at B, it seems to be kind of the setup they've been working with. Like he had taken over here at middle. Very spread out though for Selfless, you're going to try to flash out for mid and it's a huge kill. It's such an easy one for mainline as well, that is great teamwork from mainline and from Nifty for flashing through the double doors. Now they sort of take this mid control, they're forcing Energy Esports to play a 2-2, a lot more passive towards long as well, which could give a chance for Relic, or Relics rather, to take control of that long A. Uber watching that push. It's traded out. Still a one-minute advantage for the T side. And they're going to go for a mid to B. Yeah, but you saw Peter with the op on the other side of the CT spawn. Mitch is about to spawn him through that smoke. But he lands that That's the bomb. across the bomb carrier. So at least they're at the B bomb site. But it's a three on two. Still have a lurker at mid side. Peter could actually get caught. That is Relic's about to move through. And it's free smoke now. Peter now is now blocked. But Gompy oh, is man. also playing towards suicide. So they're going to get the bomb. They're going to come through and they're going to get the bomb plant. Yeah, it's so unfortunate. They couldn't really bring the bomb through B-Tunnel safely because they knew there was one player still in there that had killed Uber. So they tried to bring it through mid and Peter catches it. Luckily, through all that chaos we just saw, they did wind up getting the bomb back. And they do get it into the site. And now they have a two versus two. Hard to retake this B-Bomb site in even numbers, especially whenever one of the players is an op. But God B, he's done some damage. He's starting to open it up. Peter's now following in. Op shots are being missed by Nifty giving a chance here for Gob D to try to make something happen with this M4, but it's not going to come to fruition. Mainline, he's going to ensure the first round for Stealth list off that mid-B split. And they're going to get double op now as well. What do you think about double ops on T side? I think it can work. Um, you send, like, if you have a good long A spawn, obviously you do that. You can double pick mid. If you have a good B tunnel spawn, you can go do that. Yeah. I, I, think, it, I think it is practical. Relics are usually ops as well, dropped it for mainline since he had that spawn. So mainline's gonna try to get the opener. He's gonna spot him, he's gonna take him down, and meanwhile, energy are actually on a save with no pistols. Peter gets a nice shot, digs another one to mainline, what? gets the headshot onto Relics as well. He's gonna pick up the MP7, gets the five out to mainline, switch him back to the P250 as he's trying to pick up that off, and Nifty stops him, and Nifty goes for a double kill himself. It's a two versus one, and Peter is angry. Wow, yeah, he almost just single-handedly ripped that round apart and brought it back over to the energy camp, but it's not going to happen, it appears. There's now only Silent is left. He can certainly pick up this op. He's going to be able to get a quick long A flank. I don't know if they're going to expect him to be here this quickly, so we might still have a shot at this, actually. Yeah, going to catch... Oh, almost lines oh, up no. the collateral, but not going to quite find it. Nifty will op him out, and so it's now 2-3. to three. Now Selfless is starting to close the gap on the scoreboard here and tie this thing up early. Energy, they have a decision to make here. What do they want to do? Legge is still pretty low on cash. That's unfortunate, because he got the leg shot. You called it that collateral. If actually he had, he got that body shot onto uh, Uber, it was maybe a chance. But then again, Ooh. Nifty did not miss his shot. This round, Silence down to 17 HP. Leg through the doors by Nifty. Mainline already pushing out again, being the Devastator with the MAC-10. He's done so on Inferno, continues it on on Dust 2. As got B spotted inside the pit, they're going to boost up on top of the blue box, actually. Quite smart. They're going to keep got B inside that pit. Meanwhile, they do have a big flank coming through, but you already have Nifty watching that from the T-spawn. Now they're going to close in, Justin getting a scout shot from the A-ramp. Relics um, finally opens up the, the A-pit. But uh, now Sonnet about to get caught here on that catwalk side, leaving the scouter by himself inside A. So open for them right now to move out towards mid and try to get the bomb plant towards B. This round looks like it's pretty much in the books for Slavos at this point, as of course Energy kind of got their economy messed up and had to take kind of a double mixed buy approach just to get their money back in order. It's allowed Selfless easier rounds. 
They do tie it up. Three all, but Energy should be back onto a full buy this next round. They could even double out themselves if they wanted to, which is certainly a viable approach on Dust 2. And we see a lot of teams go for it. They do have two oppers that certainly can be effective with that gun in Silent and Peter. So I would not be surprised to see it come out. This time an op shot does not connect. Double off set up for the CT side. They have boosted up on the catwalk to try to play it aggressively. Look at this, he's gonna run through! But Justin stops him. He was trying to uh... go for the surprise attack. And then three of them are gonna fall back towards lower B and they catch Peter on top of catwalk so easily evened out. Got be pushed all the way up towards barrels though. Backstabs mainline and refrags to avenge his teammate. Then Justin gets the kill inside tunnels. It's now a four versus two. Nifty and relics. Two key players are now for a selfless, looking to win this round. That was really odd by Mitch to go for that. I mean, I understand the thought process and trying to catch it off guard, but normally you do that type of thing when you catch a good timing on the incendiary and you know you're only going to take maybe half that kind of damage from it, right? Like, you know you're going to get caught in it a little bit, but you timed your sprint just right to where you're not going to catch the full force. He like the he like he almost hesitated for a second, like he wanted to go for it, didn't, but then decided to go, and that's where he just took way too much damage, in my opinion, uh, and that pretty much kind of killed the round. You could see selfless after that they were almost deflated, like they had nothing else to go off of. It, it certainly didn't help that Gobby had a quick flank long A and kind of cut off their other options from them. No, oh, that's uh, right. They are gonna try to work towards long. I thought they were gonna try to save it for the remaining thirty seconds, but no, it's still winnable. Lagia then gets the kill on Torelix. It's now a three versus one. I thought Nifty. maybe they wanted to try to save that to go for a full gun round on the next round so they could drop a few guys because Nifty has so much money to work with. He's about to run through the smoke. He gets the quick scope on to Justin Close range. It's a one versus one. Are you kidding me? He's now moving inside Nifty. the site. 69 HP gets the bomb plant. It's him versus Silent. Silent moving up towards the elevator side. We'll see if he's going to be able to do it. It's going to be a sick play from Nifty. He, he, yeah, he does know where Silent is. Now he's going to be able to pick up the P250. The jump shooting going on. But Silent has the M4. Nope. Molly actually to run the time down. Don't see there. He does have a kit, so Silent's going to move in. Wait for that smoke, or for the Molly to extinguish itself, get the defuse, and then get the round for energy. Really nice attempt, though, from Nifty, right? I mean, he hit some sick shots there. Made that real scary. Actually, that's a lot of economic damage as well. Energy has to do a lot of rebuying. Imagine if their economy were to get reset again right here. Exactly. It's not over yet. They're not out of the pit for energy. They have to win this round, forcing small guns at the same time. Even Ligia at this point could probably only buy a FAMAS. And that's why you see God B with a UMP. This is going to be a very expensive round against full AKs and an AWP for Selfless. So you could pretty much reset either team right now in this round. But things are looking favorable for this terrorist team. Yeah, it's certainly shaping up just fine here. We are going to see if he's trying to take that op over the B this time. See if he can't find an opener over there. But no one really revealing themselves just yet. They do have that bomb still tucked in at the back of middle relics lurking over here towards long a nifty just gonna keep walking out oh, gonna find rip. the headshot onto silent and i mean nifty just looking so good tonight he looks good all the time baby that's true you know what he hasn't had the land behind him yet like kusta had but he might just be just as good i'm gonna say it now he might be we'll have to see him on land first but it, it might be there we're playing ninja right now who's gonna be the better ninja it's going to be Ligia or Mitch. Smoke dissipates, and Ligia wins the fight. Trying to be traded back by Nifty here. Peeks out with the AWP, trying to go for two shots through the doors. He spots Ligia, and he's about to run out through these doors. Two of them fully blinded. Gets the kill. Looking for that second one from Mainline. Runs out of bullets. Out with the USP, but Mainline stops him. It's now a three versus three. 38 seconds left on the clock. Got the about to push towards long. Wins the fight against Relics on top of that. Meanwhile, at B, Uber wins that. And he's going to try to run back. 30 seconds left on the clock. Uber's taking control of the B bomb side rotation from Peter at the CT spawn. And looks like Gobby is going to be on the flank at lower B. Right, they do have a smoke, so that's going to give a chance for the bomb to cross over and get the plant at the default spot. Uber holding towards the back of the platform. Mainline playing close to the, towards that door. Actually, it was going to be a fake plan to start. Peter might run through this. Nope. He's going to stay there. Op shot, double op actually set up for Gobby and Peter. And Uber cannot win that long range AWP versus an AK 47. And Energy Esports wins two in a row 
But again, well, they're going to be able to drop Elise this time. You'll see a full gun round here, but also could be at a point where they're going to be reset if they lose a round. Yeah, that, that reset's still looming out there as um, as something that energy need to be concerned with. And Selfless knows this. That's why they're actually forcing up this round. They, they know that they have energy's economy up against the ropes at the very least. Energy seems to be winning the rounds, and they're actually pulling out a good CT side here. Uh, you know, this map is slightly T favored, I think, so having a 5-3 lead actually looks pretty good for them. But it could all come falling down if they lose this round. One for one, Peter through the smoke. One minute man, it's looking to be a two for two. And it's three versus three as they're trying to get this through the smoke. Peter stuck at the car, will have to force a smoke to stay alive. He's now down to 23 HP. Justin trying to support him. Is that going to be a touchdown name? No, Relics is out of 10 HP inside that pit with the AWP. It's a four, uh, actually it's a three versus three like I mentioned before. Sorry, the bomb is actually dropped intentionally here. And it was a decoy. Up at long, so that meeting map actually flank. threw me over. Yes, it's a huge one actually coming in from Silent. But can Uber hear it right now? And another one's about to come through the mid double doors as Justin's watching it from the CT spawn. But at this point, okay, now that he shoots, Silent's gonna be able to come back for the flank. Especially yeah. Peter was gonna try to peek out to, to try to sell it out first. Oh, 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 Uber just doesn't peek back far enough to fall into that flank, and now maybe he takes down Peter. Peter has low HP, he's holding the angle, he's gonna hit the shot though, and that flank's still there. Which they'll bypass, and he's already up long A, but can he actually get across? Justin has that op fixated on it. He's got the smoke to help him cross, but will he actually use it? So far, he's just going to go for the pick, and Justin wins it. And finally, we have broken the economy of selfless, where they're going to have to save. Yep. And energy are looking really good here on the CT side. Yeah, now they're finally getting it uh, together in this series. They've looked pretty good throughout this map. There's a couple of scary moments, but they've been able to get past them all. And now this is where they can start really, you know, building some traction uh, to get a solid lead. As uh, Selfless is going to be just on pistols this round, so a very good chance they at least get seven. Though so this is definitely shaping up to be a much improved energy. Balls to the walls. They're trying to move up the catwalk. They're trying to get a boost as well for Ligia up on that dumpster of the elevator side. He gets insta dig down to 1 HP. Huge flash to keep him down. They're dropping for CT as well, and only Peter falls so far. Nifty and Relics inside the site. Mission success. Successful is to get the bomb plant inside the A bomb site. Relics dropping down for a surprise. Nifty doing the same thing, just trying to hurt the economy there against energy. Legia survives at 1 HP and keeps that AWP for Peter. So two guys dead, not so bad. And the plant. have a 7-3. Yeah, it's exactly. So Selfless got the plant. Yes, I mean, they, they got what they wanted out of that round. They did a little bit of damage. They got a bomb plant. They set themselves up for next round for a nice full buy. But at the same time, energy, they still have that double op set up in effect. You know, everyone seems to be clicking this time. Last game, really no one showed up except for Justin. This game... They have, you know, a pretty tight frag distribution going on here. I mean, Peter is slightly out front, but the others are just a frag apart. Meanwhile, you have Mitch struggling this game. He had a big game on Inferno. This game, he has not really hit his stride yet. See how that changes. They're going to go for fast cat again, and it's going to break down because it's a, it's a quick long A, but Peter has gotten here in time. He gets called to smoke out, but we'll be able to plot the op, and he actually nice takes shot. down the bomb Uber. Does not connect with the second one, though. And he at least gets leg shot on to Relics, but Nifty retaliates back. Got B trying to go to work at the long side. Wins that fight against Mainline, going on that retake. Silence moving up with him. They double double tag to get the kill onto Nifty. Relics stuck at the quad with low HP at 17. Mitch is trying to watch that flank. He's also burning down. And now Relics forcing that smoke out, and they instantaneously die, both at their respective positions where they're watching flanks and rotations energy yeah. esports are now up at eight winning five rounds in a row yeah but great plant uh, and five rounds in a row that's money for selfless there that's that is true but i mean energy are just uh outclassing selfless right now their retakes are really on point you saw that round they got some nice flashes they catch nifty just out in the open on the catwalk while he was trying to fall back because the bomb was planted for cat but nifty actually pressed all the way out to site with the op to cover he could just never get back to the catwalk where if he could have he obviously would have been a huge problem to deal with when you have an op and the bomb planted for you uh, very hard to battle against that but energy was able to cut that off and now they're up eight three they're looking very powerful here on dust two peter gonna go for one of his aggressive cat plays this time he might get caught from lower b if he's not careful but he knows this timing he's able to just go ahead and back off
more passive play at least for selfless this time. I don't think they're trying to go for those aggressive right. gambles going through and running through mollies anymore. Yeah, it's yeah. been working on Inferno, but this time they definitely show, at least on energy side, that they're out here to play. As it is, since it is a natural dog day, who let the dogs out in the second map? Energy did. Yeah, they did. Mainline does pick up a frag, though, actually, into CT spawn. I think he pressed out mid doors again, actually did catch Legia there off guard. So he was able to even up the odds now into a four on four, which is going to wear down the defense a little bit thin. It's going to make those rotates a bit more difficult, unless Gabi goes for a flank. So this could be where Selfus finally dig deep and grab around. As Gabi is being heard by Relux at long A's and be able to get that kill. And now it's even more in favor of Selfus. They're going to get a 3v1 at B. It's going to be up to Justin oh. with the op, but he can't find a single kill. Two of them and, were lined up, couldn't get it! Yeah, that's unfortunate for him. At least Peter stops towards long. It's a three versus two. Silence already on the top of the boxes outside B. Trying to spot if anybody's coming towards that platform side. But they're gonna hear him outside there. Those doors. Peter's still opening from the spawn. So at this point, you're trying to wonder if they're just gonna try not to save. Or not to go for it. Yeah, Indeed, that's Silence backing not. out. Yeah, this is really not the type of retake you can really go for it's hard to do it even with even numbers or even a one-man advantage when, when you're down a man so hard to retake B on dust too especially one of those guys is going to be an op so they are just going to have to see if they can't catch the exit frags but they're not able to hit the shot and able to catch the kill so it's uber now they'll be able to go pick up an op for nifty that they won't have to spend money on so it's going to help bolster them up for the next round meanwhile energy they have one more buy left in them i think with justin being able to drop but if they lose this, they would be back onto a save again, and that's where Selfless can start closing the gap. They're making this a close half. In fact, they're going to take the save here and now. Even though they did have enough money to do some dropping, they're, they're not going to do it. Trying to get a scout there from Justin at that mid-double doors, but does not find Nifty at all. Actually, that bullet was wide out. Gobby trying to push up aggressively. Spots one there. That's well it's down to 61, but then Peter again is going to work on top of that barrel side. So Mitch does not like that. Justin falling down from Nifty, but then Peter again going for the white peak at suicide. Picking up the AWP now. And Liggy is about to flank too. Peaks up. Uber spots him here. Puts him down at 33. Trying to connect those bullets, but unfortunately doesn't. Now Peter is the last man standing. Just got spotted through the smoke. And Lux is just going to hold it, but That's he lands the bomb. a shot. Yes, it's a two versus one. He's looking back towards lower B. The flash is coming through. No, I thought it was a flash. Sorry. Yes, indeed it was. It was just behind him, so Peter's going to be able to fall back. One minute left on the clock. If he gets these last two kills, he's actually going to be an ace for Peter as well. He's about to re-peek out as Uber and Mainline are backpedaling towards the catwalk after picking up the bomb. He peeks out, lands the shot. It's a one versus one. He's about to go for the ace if he can. Uber at 33 HP. Peter has a nade to work with as well, and he's falling back towards his T-spawn, where he can actually get a better angle from Dark Spot. Looking at it right now, Uber is still holding his grounds. He's going to try to go for the land shot if he actually spots him here. Actually, he just spotted his arm. Uber did the same thing. Here comes that touchdown aid. Can he land it? Too far back behind. Uber now at 30 HP, about to push forward. 20 seconds off of the clock. He's going to have to try to go for the kill. Also giving away his position. Peter misses the shot, unfortunately, as Uber is now going to oh. peek out and win that one. Such a close game. Such a close round, round for Peter. Oh, my. I mean, Peter almost robbed Selfless of a round, catching that bomb out by itself a bit. Of a uh, lapse there for for Selvas to have that bomb out on an island like that. And Peter almost made him pay for it big time. Would have had an ace there, as you noted. Was looking real dangerous, but Uber kept his composure. Even with low HP, dodges a nade, and he finds a way to close the round for Selfless. So well done. Now Mainline has the long ace point. He's going to go for the op pick. He's going to miss, but he'll be able to get away. He doesn't even take any damage. So it's no harm, no foul here for Selfless. So we are going to have that double op set up back in here for energy. And they're just sitting up in the long corner. Mainline knows that he's trying to do damage just those doors. They don't really give you that ability anymore with rifles to do much. Well, at least they did the damage that they needed to do. Where they could put Selfless on a save for the last round if they could win this one here. Got B on the other side of the long A double doors. Met up here with Peter as well. Who's been playing this half so well. Look at that. 19 and 10 for Peter. While Justin, got B, and Silent. All three of them are at 9 kills. Peter came out to play. He's looking much improved this map as we are seeing 
I'm trying to go for a boost over the smoke, but Sonic's playing a close thing. He's just going to press in there. Just no oh. fear. Gets the bomb down. Nifty does trade it right back at least. But that bomb is still down the other side of this That's smoke right. grenade. And Justin's in position now. It fell down forward. He's going to be able to spot relics. But also, again, Nifty refrags it right away. Now the Lurker up on Catwalk is down. So it's a one-man advantage for energy. Peter already outside the B-double doors. And he's waiting for this Molly to just disappear for him to try to get a pick. Bomb is now upon it. Just safely behind the double stacks. Got B on that plane from Laura B. <laughs> Nifty gets the blind kill. And now it's Nifty coming out to play. Now it's a two versus two. Peter peeking out. Nifty gets walled. His opponent is peeking out on the other side, and that's Mitch on the elevator side. Nifty gets a 4K. Nifty looking for the ace, but it's stolen by Mitch. Both oppers going to work in two rounds back to back. Yeah, man. I mean, Nifty has just been looking so good on this team. They, they were so fortunate to find this player. They lost Kusta. He's a big part of their team. He was a star opper. But again, when you watch Nifty play, uh, he, he's just been so good for, for them. I mean, just from an eye test watching, he, he's had such an impact. He's filled the shoes well. Uh, even just looking at his stats for them in the ESL Pro League, he's been great. I mean, wow. Wow. Yeah, Forrest Spy coming in, of course, it's the last round of the first half. Justin went pretty much for a double, even a triple peak, I think, to win that against Uber. He was actually looking to be at that double peak to get that headshot through the door. Five on four situation as Energy Esports really still only have one guy playing towards B. And he's playing quite aggressively to start and that was silent. If he'd actually died, it was going to be the cue for them to execute towards B because that's where the bomb is actually at. So the bomb would have been spotted, so they would probably have to commit there. But now Justin met up with uh, Silent. He's going to spot it back trying to do those jump scouts from the back of... The B bomb site, kind of like what Simple does, but he does not connect. Almost for that kill onto mainline, but thankfully Nifty is still on fire and on point with the AWP to save his opponent, or save his teammate rather. Three on two, one minute advantage for Energy Esports. Bomb is actually down towards the car. And they're getting flanked. Yeah, this is a huge round. This is a huge round right now for Energy. And it, from Gobby's angle, he knows that they're pinched right now at the tunnels. So they could just focus on that. Yep. They're going for the boost, and Nifty gets the opener. That's 3k one more time. They are tilted. They do not like what's going on oh, so what? far. Relix gets the drop kill into Legia, and now with 20 seconds left on the clock. If Nifty would have hit that one, shot. It turns, we turn it around. Nifty now does not connect. It's a 1 versus 1. 15 seconds left on the clock. He gets caught with a flash in his head, but oh. takes the good amount of time to get the headshot into Relix and finish the half 9 to 6 in favor of energy. Some of these rounds are just insane, dude. You had Peter's almost ace round that Uber was finally able to recover. You had Nifty's big quad kill round just moments ago, and then that just happened. This has been such a fun game to watch. Polar opposite to Inferno, which was just kind of a, a lousy time for everyone except for Selfless and their, their hardcore fans over there, but... Man, what a half of CS that was. So many tense rounds where there was a key flank that was just right around the corner, but somehow it was missed. And just, you know, these crazy individual plays. It had pretty much everything you would have wanted out of a Dust 2 match. But Energy, they've been able to stay out ahead through all of it. They do have a 9-6 lead going into their Terra side. So that set themselves up very well to take this map and force that third map on cash. But... As well as Nifty has been playing with that op, if he can continue that over on the CT side, especially if Selfless can want to win this pistol, I mean, there's still a chance for them to the series. I mean, you can't count that out just yet, that's for sure. But at least Energy has done enough to, to stay afloat and, and work towards a third map. I love it, I love it, I love it. If you look at the scoreboard, pretty much virtually identical score lines, basically. The opera is going to work, double fragging pretty much on the scoreboard for their team. Everybody else just struggling a little bit there, but... It was all about the Oppers. It was the battle of the P250 to opt for Peter and just Nifty opening up site after site, especially in B with that op. This is looking to be a very interesting second half when Nifty will start playing with the AWP on the CT side. And hopefully Peter could try to get that type of connection that he did like he did on the first half. I mean, it's kind of thank God for Nifty if you're selfless right now because no one else really stepped up to the plate. I mean, Mainline had a couple of plays, but Relics, who's usually been super consistent for them, he's actually been off both these well, maps. Yeah. Uber uh, had a great Inferno. He's had a tough time. Mitch has had a tough time. So the they really is, struggled on that T side as a whole. 
the thing is with Nifty though, you could see that it's more of a teamwork play for Energy Esports because they're not really playing for refrags. The amount of times that they actually boosted Nifty on top of smokes, working together with Nifty, and whoever's supporting him is basically an assist player. Yes, his name doesn't pop up in terms of him doing damage with an AWP, but he does that support to be able to let um, Nifty get those entry frags towards the B bomb site, and then uh, and then get the openers for them to move in and get the bomb plants and get the victory rounds. Yeah, of course. I mean, and that's one of the things that this team preaches. That's why their their tag is like the team is greater than whoever isn't who the tags in front of because that's their whole motto is being selfless like no one player is more important than the team and that, that's why Ryu is such a special coach because not only does he help them with tactics and uh, laying out a game plan and, and developing players but it's also about you know implementing this 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 culture like it, it truly is a culture on that team uh, the philosophy that they have on on how not only do they approach the game, but how they approach just working together as individuals, being a team. Uh, it's it's actually really neat what Ryu's created over there uh, in that group. That's actually probably his most influential thing on that team, in my opinion. I mean, I'm sure he helps with tactics and scouting and stuff, but just the culture he's created, I think, is is the biggest piece. Me likey. I think I think for Ryu, his type of leadership is pretty much um, staying, keeping everybody positive, pretty much. Because in NA for the past year or two or three, it's people throwing other people under the bus or whatnot, and Ryu pretty much has been promoting, levering each other to to move as a team instead of individual play. I like that. It's kind of like what we see uh, for a lot of the. Uh, EU teams at least. I don't know what exactly goes in the background scene for European teams, but at least I see that they're that they respect each other a lot in terms of like the top teams that we see in the world now uh, on the EU side. Nonetheless though, we are going live here for the second half. Energy Esports in the lead by three. Nine to six is our score. This is a best out of three. If Energy are able to win this map, we are going to a tiebreaker map, which is going to be on cash to see who moves on. To face off against Luminosity Gaming in the semifinals of the second qualifier. And looking at it so far, it has got B trying to bring it to that third map by getting that first kill onto Nifty. Indeed does. Also, they're they're getting an idea that there is someone cat. They already know that for sure. So Legia is going to begin to try to press Mainline back to see if they can't open themselves up some more options. Mainline's holding his ground, finally going to go ahead and drop off. He actually didn't take that much damage. And he does have Uber support inside the site. They've given up on Long A. They're just trying to focus on holding this site down. But that bomb's tucked into the back of B this whole time. This is all kind of a sham. I think Peter just wants to drop in the CT spawn. And that, like, they want to get control of middle and split the B bomb site, it seems like. Peter drop it inside the spawn. Mitch is inside B. They're going to go for a mid to B split. Nice turnaround by Peter to take down mainline. It's a five versus three. Relics in the back of the platform. First kill. Drops the bomb carrier. Runs out of bullets. Forced to reload. One tap on to Gob. Let's what? Another tap. 180. What? And another 180 onto Legia. And holds this B ball. Oh my god. My butt has been clenching this whole matchup so far. Holy shit. What the f was that? Oh, Relics. That was too good. That was insane. Hello, Reddit. Whatever else you want to add to the back of that. Ah, <laughs> damn, dude. That one tap you hit on Beat Tunnels was disturbing. I think that should be not safe for work filter on that Reddit post. That is so good. What a play. Oh, that's going to turn things around, and that's going to tilt energy right now. You can see them going already on that force buy. Legia though opening up with a deagle into Uber at long, but traded out by mainline with a UMP. Now it's a 4 versus 4. Asana is going to try to storm up and try to get something on this A side, but it's going to stay very passive. I don't think I've ever gotten that hard from something not sexually related. I'll just leave it at that. Continue on with the game. No, I'm going to leave the awkward signs for a bit. One second. Oh, okay, that's fine. Nifty done? getting the okay. scout shot onto Peter. It is now a one man advantage for a selfless. Silent God B and Justin looking to move back on top of the catwalk. He's trying to get the bomb plant inside A. Nifty trying to connect here with the scout. Spots one here. Unfortunately, does not connect. 
Now it's a three versus three. They are going to be able to get this bomb plant for a catwalk, and they're going to try to turn this round around. Relic's about to come for this big flank here. Looking back for the uh, on the barrels before, in case there was a lurker, but nobody's there. But this time, he does not get any crazy play. Silent and Justin going to work, as it's a two versus one. Mainline spots the first one and sees him drop towards the elevator side, trying to white peek. But such a smart... Oh, I guess I was just going to say it was a smart play by Silent, but he gets picked off inside CT spawn. Now he's trying to stay alive here as God B, but Mainline wins that one, has the kit, and he clutches a two versus one. The plays just keep piling on for Selfless at this point, right? Relic well, tested big play in B, and now that clutch just happens for Mainline. And that's the type of plays that Selfless needs to get back into the game. That's the kind of plays that can really just start the crush energy, because you can't really even discuss your way out of that one. It's just random, almost, right? Selfless, one run away of time things up here, Dust. They yeah, are I mean, putting up a huge fight right now. Relic's the savior for that pistol round. Sorry, my monitor crashed. That's, that's a thing. That just happened to me. All right, well, I got you. Close your eyes. I'm bringing you the action. Okay. Sun about to push through this mid double doors with his teammates. They do have a flash for them to go for a mid to be split. Only one of them moving towards that tunnel side and a big flash actually. Sun is able to execute Mitch and get the second one onto Relics. So they're going to be able to get another bomb plant now for Energy Esports. It's a three versus three. Nifty watching flankers. And Mainline's about to move up. Sun's playing towards the back of the platform. That Incinor Grenade is going to force him out of position. A flash as well to keep him all blinded. And here comes the execution in. But nice counter flashes from the T side. They're still getting dropped long range. Nice job by Peter. Trying to stay alive as long as he can. I think from Legia, but not more than that. As Nifty kills him with the P250. And a retake is successful. Yeah, I didn't get to see any of that. Sorry. I, I literally got an error message that I was using the wrong DVI cable. I don't even understand. I've been using this monitor for two years. How does that even happen? Literally, Relax play broke my monitor. Leave it at that. Continue <laughs> on, Van Silly. I'll well, I mean, when I can. we pretty much called it all there. I mean, they didn't go for... Um, they just went for a pistol save and just wanted to get that bomb plant. On top of that, they got two kills, forcing a, a buy coming in for Selfless in this round here. They're so low right now. A leg shot from Peter to start the round. Onto the other side, onto Nifty. So now it's actually two guys inside B-Tunnels, two guys pushing under B-Tunnels through mid-doors. So Legia is going to hear these footsteps. As they're going to backpedal back, there's two to three guys actually on top of the barrels. But they're not even closing in. Silent is still looking up on Catwalk, and he eats a nade from Uber. Okay. Bomb and they had Beaton's control. Yep. Well, they had it from the beginning of the round. At least Ligia, who is still watching that lurk roll at the outside B, is able to take down Nifty to even it up on a 4v4. Yeah, Mainline's going to go out for this duel, try to go ahead and get the advantage back. He's going to win out on that. Relic's able to take down God B. So it's a 3v2 here for Selfless. Excuse me, 4v2, rather. They're going to have both A players still in position. They have one mid and one B. Justin will try to come out long A, trying to make sure Pit's clear. They still do have a lot of time, and they do have some utility to work with. And Peter's op has been on point, so there is a little bit of hope here for them, especially since Nifty's op is out of the equation. It's not going to be easy. Oh! That bullet was right by Relic's head. All right. <laughs> well, at least it's going to be a three versus two. They're going to try to move in and get the bomb plant. Peter is going to try to watch after his teammates. As Justin's actually going to push up for that fight. Relic misses it. Peter misses a shot and that's it. Selfless takes the lead in this matchup. Yeah, that was just great. Uh, there, Peter trying to go for the kill on quad. Uber's right there to collect him as he has to step out wide to be able to do that. A good teamwork there from Selfless to bait that out. And now Energy, they had such a great half, but now they've lost the last four in a row. It's been some sick plays to do it. Relics, of course, had that crazy uh, quad kill series in the B-bombs that you had mainline with the clutch. Uh, and now it's all added up to Selfless actually taking the lead in this game. And I think this is the first time they've had the lead, if I remember correctly. I know they had it tied at 1.3 all, but mm -hmm. they've never actually led the game. That's true. And in a half, nine to six, and have yet to win a round on this second half is Energy Esports. 
No money to work with right now, but at least to get an opener onto mainline. Even with pistols, they're able to do enough damage. They've done it before. Peter almost got an ace clutch on that first half. Trying to take control of this mid side, but Mitch, meanwhile, has dropped Ligia at mid doors. Uber trying to watch that cross. At least it's smoked out. There's a gap though, so he drops the bomb carrier. Now Peter's gonna try to pick it up and Gob B is trying to drop down, maybe to try to get a kill. But two guys are about to flank around on the catwalk side, so Gob B is about to get exposed. He drops down just on time on the dumpster. And they're gonna wait it out. At least a bomb is planted again. Consider a grenade. Enemy spotted now on the top of that A ramp. Gob B meanwhile falling at the elevator, and that's Peter alive. One more to go. Silent long range. One kill. Two versus one now. A smoke and just stick on that plant. Not even need it because Uber gets the third kill of this round. And it's now going to be 11 to 9 in favor of Selfless. Energy did some decent work that round though, right? In a round they didn't really have much to work with. They still do manage to get three guns down in a bomb plant. So that actually was pretty well done. You can see that they have a lot of money now. Uh, they had three guys on 7,000 uh, plus before the buys. Leggy is going to go ahead and buy here as well. Leggy still hasn't bought yet. Finally, late here, you're going to be able to pick up the AK and some nades. And you're going to see Peter trying to opt the cross. Not going to find anything. You do see Nifty sets up. He's waiting for Peter to repeak. He wants this duel. Timings aren't going to work out, though, just yet. They're still both just kind of feeling each other out at this point through the door. It's a, it's a standoff. Who's going to be quick draw McGraw? Well, I think it's not really going to be the battle of the opposite start. Because uh, Peter, from you from you see it through the x-ray from Nithi's point of view, he's really just looking up on that catwalk side. Trying to yeah. give a chance for uh, Silent and Gob B to push up and take control. But Silent's about to peek out with no flashes. Are you kidding me? Okay. So that's an early one-minute advantage for Selfless. Indeed, and now Uber's going to find one as well. Peter trying to press out the even the odds. He is going to be able to take down Nifty and Leggy, though he's about to run into a crossfire. He spots the boosted player, but Mitch is in the other corner. Big crossfire there from Selfless, and they know that the mid pressure is coming, so they will just take control of the tunnels. I love that. Such a smart play. It allows their rotate to set in. They maintain control. They know they're going to have a 4v2 retake. Yes, they can see the bomb plant, but they're setting themselves up in the best position to win the round. Bomb is now planted towards B. Peter trying to watch for a spawn. Unfortunately, doesn't hit the shot. And that's going to make it even harder for them to hold it even more here. But Gobby lines up two towards the tunnels. And just like that, it's turned around to two versus two. And they can focus towards the window side. They can focus towards the door. But Peter gets caught on the rotation towards the back of the platform. Gobby will have to try to win with a 4K. He makes it a one versus one. Mainline pushing it towards the top. And he wins that fight and keeps it alive for energy. Closing the gap by a one point round. It is 11 oh, to 10. Some big mistakes there from Selfless at the end. They had a four on two, but for some reason they're... B tunnel players press before their window and door player were set up, so there seemed to be some miscommunication there. Also, at the very end, they had a 2v1. You could see that main line spotted, I think that was at Gob B, uh, behind Xbox. Knew he was there, even took shots at him, but for some reason didn't alert his teammate who was still checking the car in B tunnels, and so he got completely blindsided, and Gob B got a 1v1 out of that. So that was a couple of little missteps there from Selfless, and that gives energy the round, and now, with Selfless saving, there's a great chance they'll go ahead and tie this thing right back up. So energy, they're starting to recover after all those big plays from Selfless and put this game back in contention for themselves. And just like that, they are on that pistol save. Couple of small armors as well. But so far, capitalizing on nothing is Selfless. So we're about to th tie things up rather for energy esports. Three of them moving up towards this mid side. Mainline holding it close towards the door. Drop kill from Justin. Nifty, the last man standing, easily dispatched long range, and we're tied now, ladies and gentlemen. Energy Esports finally waking up here on the second half, yeah. kind of looking to run away to the third map. Yeah, I mean, they're they're really putting themselves in good position here. They have Selfless in such a bad economic way. I mean, Selfless just completely misplayed that 4v2. Now it's causing the double save. It's called Energy to be able to take the lead back in the game. I mean, certainly can't count Selfless out. Nifty's just doing so, so well. I mean, they've had some moments, so they're not out of it just yet, but they're starting to lose their ground. We do have Justin with the long A spawn here. We are going to see a flash push set up here, but the flash flashed his team. He, he missed the flash or something. 
Double save for Selfless. They're about to turn around the corner and meet four guys here. And it's going to be Ligia probably that's going to spot it. Unless he gets flashed, hopefully, there. So many utilities right now. But it's going to be the CT that's going to act upon it first. And here comes that four-man peak. Didn't get a lineup from Peter. But they're looking for the hunt. They're going for the chase. We still have Mitch alive. It's a two versus two. Off shot missed. Job. And Mitch is still alive. Finally, Silent takes him down. But the damage is done. Relics is the last man standing. Waiting to see if Energy Esports are going to try to go for this, and he's going to go for the white peak. So his posi position is now given away. Yeah, that's actually still went okay for Selfless. I mean, they stacked it and they want to trade in evenly with just pistols, but Energy now able to get themselves into a 2v1. Relic's not going to be able to pick up any of these guns, of course. They're all down at long. He's actually trying to go for a really fast flank. I don't think Energy will expect this, and that means he will actually be able to pick up a gun. Yep. And if they don't pay attention, maybe somehow he still gets this? It, it seems unlikely, but it, it's definitely in the cards. Well, they're going to get the bomb plant here safely, courtesy of Silent. Looking back towards long is Relics with an AK-47 that he picked up. Looking around the corner, and Peter is looking at the right spot, and Silent takes him down. Yeah, I actually don't think Peter caught him. He was playing a nice little hug on the wall to avoid that op at Goose, but Silent on top of things there with the rifle, and so there you have it. Energy going to win it, but the important thing to think about here is how expensive these rounds have been on Energy. So, I mean, it has tapped into their wallets a bit. You can see they actually don't have that much cash on, like, three of their players. So if, if Selfless can get a win here, reset Energy's economy, it might eventually lead to a save in the next couple of rounds, and that's when Selfless can take the lead back for themselves. But at the same time, Selfless lose this, they're right back to saving, and that's where Energy can start trying to just close out this map and move on the cash. So this round has a lot of weight on it. So they are going to try to take control of this long. Nifty is actually off it. Big flash, and the op shot gives their position away, so they're going to fall back from that, playing it more safely, and more default at the same time for Selfless, so Nifty rotates all the way back towards A ramp, trying to watch towards this catwalk side, because they do have mainline playing towards the CT spawn to watch towards mid-double doors. Exactly. So the rest of NRG trying to move up here on this catwalk, but it's Underground. weighted there by Nifty at Playmaker. It looks like they want to do that cat drop down in the CT spawn play again. Or, or maybe not. The bomb's actually tucked in on Catwalk, so they might just go for sure up to execute. Here we go. So got be setting up that last smoke to try to look back towards that cross. Prevent for a pick from the opera, actually, from the elevator side. Now, is actually pushing through. Everybody's blinding. He's just going to try to run across, spamming it. Gets the kill onto Nifty. And still one guy alive here at long and one at elevator. Just that Uber now at long. As Mainline was able to drop that bomb carrier to run that clock down. And with 30 seconds left on the clock, looks like they're going to run back towards B. Yep. And Uber is picking up the AWP here. He's about to creep out. But Peter is just waiting there. Here we go. I think Nifty just has to give up immediately there when he gets blinded the first time. I mean, you got to know when you get flashed that it's very likely someone dropped down and is pushing you. And so whenever he tried to re-peek after the flash to catch the cat cross from Game Helper... It just completely folded the A defense. If he actually is able to fall back to A with this pit player Uber and stay alive, yeah, you're giving up the plant, but maybe you can put that op back to work in a more favorable situation to where you might actually make a retake work as opposed to basically setting yourself up for failure. Like Even if you would have hit one kill on that cat cross, you're still going down, right? And that means energy is out trading you and they're getting control of the site. Uh, and you're now out of the round, and you, you can't make any more plays. So I think that was a little bit of a mistake. And and so, I mean, that's really been two problems for self. It's that round right there, um, and then that, that four on two they blew a few rounds ago that led to them double saving. So they basically lost three rounds because of one round, one mistake. Uh, and, and what's up was playing so well to get back into this game and even take a lead at one point. Uh, it stinks to see them, you know, make some mishaps like that that actually give energy opportunities to take the game back. Yeah. Uh, and now at this point, the economic situation for Selfless is so poor that, I mean, energy is knocking on the door of cash already. You can kind of start seeing the weakness for Selfless towards that A bomb site, though. I mean, they're pushing a lot towards that long A trying to get control, although they haven't won it that many times. And then when they do, they're trying to play a retake towards the A bomb site, but they get overpowered at catwalk site where the rotators can't actually get anything done either. So I'm trying to figure out if they're going to try to switch some positions. 
maybe put Skylar somewhere in the A-bomb site to try to play that uh, that hole that long. Because he's been pretty much... Hasn't seen that much action from that pistol round. Ever since that pistol round on, uh, on the B side. Yeah, so I mean, at this point... Energy are, are looking in pretty good shape. They have a two-round lead. They have Selfless on kind of a broken buy this next round. We do actually see out being bought by Uber. You see a couple of upgraded pistols being brought in here, but it's obviously just them kind of giving themselves something to work with, but certainly setting themselves up for a full buy next round. And obviously just maybe talking about some things, just trying to cool off understand what's been happening, try to come up with better, you know, ideas on how to deal with it. And I mean, the, the power of a timeout can sometimes be quite massive, so... This also gives a time, uh, a chance for Ryu to actually chime in and say, okay, this is our economy right now. If we lose this round, we have to save no matter what, but let's buy whatever we can to make as much as an impact as we can on this round of CT, get that bonus money if we lose, and then win out from there. So you can see now the CZ has been purchased. We have a scout in the hands of Uber and a flash, a P250 for both mainline and relics and a smoke as well. So I wonder if they're going to try to use the smoke to um, take control of long again, or maybe smoke it to give a chance for the scout or Uber to look back towards platform and maybe switch some positions around. So we'll see as we're about to unpause yep. and see this round unfold. Yeah, so we'll see if Selfless can actually get anything done with uh, some of these upgraded pistols and the scout that they've bought. But more importantly, we're going to see what they change up on their next gun round to see if they actually can have a chance at bringing this map back in. Again, last time these two teams played, it was a close game, 16-13 for energy. This game is shaped up pretty close as well. We do see a slight stack at B here, and it's going to be a B rush, so this might pan out. So far, God B opens it. Relics also inside the site. Uber going for that scout kill, and they finally open that B bomb site. And unfortunately, Uber burning down before actually trying to get that kill on it to the truck site. Nifty through the smoke, though. Dispatching silent. Actually, he spotted him as soon as that smoke uh, ballooned. So that's how he was able to get that shot. But it's a two versus one. He's actually going back towards mid site. If he actually wins this one against Peter. Oh, almost spotted his head there. So he has. Has an idea that Peter is somewhere lurking up on there. But Ligia only has 4 HP. So if he hears his pine, he's going to run through. He's going to get the kill. But the bomb is planted. He could stick it right now. But he doesn't, doesn't have, have a kit. But I mean, he can still it. stick it? Peter might even outplay himself. Molly's going to come down. One second left on the clock. He's going to defuse it. <laughs> I can't even tell you the... Like, just no fear you have to have to stick a 10-second diffuse. I mean, he did have the information that Peter was way out in Cat, so that did kind of sit in the back of his head, which probably made him a bit more confident that he could do that. But, I mean, if Peter was just a little bit quicker there, I don't think Peter expected him to just stick a diffuse with no kit. Pros don't 10-second fake. Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> Still enough money to buy here for energy. They do get the tag onto Mitch as well to open up this round, so... But that's game sense too, right? He knew that Peter was so far away. That's why he permitted himself to stick it as well. Yep. It was all a gamble right after to see how fast Peter was going to work. And those are the type of rounds that is definitely going to be tilting Peter right now. Both of them at 29 kills and 19 deaths. Offers are still going to work throughout this whole game. Uber oh, wow. holding inside that pit. Flash kills Silent. And then, uh, was that a teammate flash, unfortunately? But a trade comes across mainland long. No, that was mainland's three. flash. Okay. Mainland's saw... flash allowed Uber to re peek and get a second frag. That was great teamwork once again there from Selfless. And now it's a timeout from Energy. They're like, whoa, wait a second, guys. We uh, we just lost a couple of rounds there. Now Selfless are tying this game up. They have a double op setup now. Still plenty of money for Energy. That's something they really don't have to worry about. For likely the rest of the half, unless they get reset or something in these last few rounds. Because, I mean, as they run out of money, they will start approaching max loss bonus at the exact same time, basically. So, I mean, I guess they could run out of funds for Peter's op, which has been big for them. But, yeah, the biggest thing is just trying to figure out what has Selfless done since they took their own time out that's countered us. Uh, what, what what can we do to, to get back on track? Um, 
I think that's kind of the key thing. I mean, to be fair, they lost like a really random force buy round from Selfless, and and that that's just kind of I don't know. That's that's one of those unfortunate things. But that round right there, I mean, it just came down to pure good play from Selfless and teamwork at long A. Well, I can't get any closer than this here on this Dust Two map. Energy getting closer and closer, but then somehow. Selfless is able to come back and tie things up where they could actually upset energy when they had such a big lead to start things off. A 9-6, not winning the fist around, losing five in a row, crawling back, taking that lead, and then suddenly it's tied up again. So if, uh, again, if you guys are just tuned in on Dust2 now, if energy loses this one, they unfortunately get dropped and Selfless will face off against Luminosity uh, in the semifinals of this second qualifier. Selfless loses, we're going to a third map, which is going to be on cash, where we've actually seen Selfless play quite well on that map. Although I've seen less of energy on that map, I don't know if you could chime in on that, Dust. I think uh, I haven't really seen energy play too much cash. I know it's certainly one of Selfless's main maps. I feel it's one of the maps they've played the most and they've had a lot of their success on. Uh, when it comes to energy... Um, I have seen them, I mean, they lost to Selfless in overtime uh, in our first qualifier. They, they beat Complexity, but that team's been struggling. That's actually the only uh, two times they've really played it, other than a loss to Optic way early on. So I actually think Selfless is going to be a little bit favored on Cash. Um, so, yeah. Also, I want to give a shout-out to our cameraman. I can't tell you how many times he's done that spooky eyes thing, only to be cut off and no one saw it because we put up the scoreboard. Oh, I'm glad it finally went through today. Yeah, yeah it went through yeah. today. Finally went through. He finally got it. After I can't even tell you how many times he's done this to try to get on stream with it, and our producer ma. has just blocked him out. Ma, hey, ma, they finally put my shot on camera, ma. Yeah. So there you go, later. You had your moment. So on the other side, if you guys uh, are unfamiliar with the bracket, uh, I think we already have our other semifinalists uh, that we cast it. Oh yeah, our finalists are. Belgium made the finals. Yeah. Yes, beating Tempo Storm yesterday, uh, two to one, I think. Right. Yep. So winner of this moves on to play Luminosity. Can I remember the, the maps I cast it with you, Dust? That's how crazy it is. Yeah. I think it was Cobble and Overpass last night that CLG won, which Cobble was. Uh, a big win for for CLG because Simple Storm beat him on that a couple times. Overpass is kind of a CLG map, so yeah, they're in the finals. Wonder this will play Luminosity for the second final slot. Then we'll have the grand finals, I think, streamed on Sunday to see who will get the second spot next to Optic for North America for land. And then we'll, of course, have still two more qualifiers to go after that. But now we're back into this round, round number 27, 13 all. Timeouts taken by both teams already. We're so seeing nothing left. What? What is Nithian Mainline doing? This is kind of crazy. Yeah, they double going. cat rail thing. Yeah, he's watching long from that. So very passive long play. That could give a chance for a double drop into CT spawn and actually cover it up. But it's smoked first, and they're actually still looking to commit to this for energy side. Because the bomb is making out there, and he's the first one to peek out. And slowly he gets the opener onto Mitch, and another smoke. It's fully blinding out any type of opposition from the CT spawn. So they clear out B, Relics falls down as well. And it's going to be a bomb plan with the last two guys, Nifty and Uber, looking to save their guns, looking for exits at this point. Yeah, really well done by Red Energy. They just run a, a classic mid to B, which can be quite hard to defend. Nifty not able to find any op shots over the smoke. Also, Mainline got caught at Cat right away, but I believe that was either Gobby or Justin. I can't remember which, but catching that kill on the Mainline so early pretty much killed any chance of Selfless trying to go for a retake. Gave a big man advantage there. Now, we are seeing exit frags come in. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uber does eventually finish off that kill, but he is going to get traded. So Nifty just saving his op and pit. But Selfless Economy is going to get reset here again. And it's going to be a, really difficult to rebuy on a couple of these players. I mean, you look at Mainline and Uber, they're not going to have that much money. This is going to be a crazy round. Nifty can drop someone, but they're going to be hurting for utility and, and rifles. Yeah, so a good job at least for those guys to... Prevent energy esports from saving more guns than they were supposed to. 
So now we're uh, looking to going f go for that force buy for selfless aside. Huge gamble coming in right now. They don't want to play for the tie. Nifty well, already laid down to 19 to start. Also, energy. Look at their money. If they lose this, they're in a state situation. That's where Selfless can just take map point, right? That's so for sure. It, it, they're both situations are quite vulnerable when it comes to bank. We'll see which one gets exploited. As mainline will again anchor up at long A. Nifty is going to boost Uber up on double stack. So if they go mid to B again, they could get busted by this play from uber i mean this on. is one of those positions if it goes unchecked it can win around not live not live on what? paper it is still selfless round we're gonna go live we're gonna continue it yeah that's really weird not live not live foggy I shot with a knot, but don't worry about it. You guys all know we bought. No, okay, we're, we're still gonna stay live. 14 to 13, our scoreboard, as we have 45 seconds left on the clock. I'm so confused. Okay, this round is live. It is being played. I don't think I've ever seen this much complication about a round before. Peter's so mad right now. He just literally typed it, and he's about to peek out towards CT spawn. He gets the action to wall bang. Does, he, he, doesn't, does he know he hit him? No, no, it was just a pre fired shot. And as Uber did, does not pick, he pays the price. Oh. He's about to land the second one. Oh, man. He's done. He's done. He even screams in a dead chat. Justin trying to stay alive. It's a three versus one. And you're right, Just. Uh, you're right, Justin. You're right, Dustin. At this point, if Justin loses this one here, they're going to be on a save. And then Selfless could actually win this one right after. But he walks out zero seconds left on the clock. Yeah. That was really weird. Like, you can't call not live in the middle of the round. I mean, I guess there is a rule I think we have where if no player has died and no yes, fire has been exchanged, no damage, you can't agree to replay the round. And it, but, I mean, it's so weird to see it that deep into a round. The thing is, that whole conversation wasted a good 15, 20 seconds into the round as well where nobody moved. It's true, but I mean, so would energy have life? moved anyway? Like, it's well, hard to really know how much effect it really had other than just pissing people off, personally. Silent won the fight inside B. He had three seconds left. He pushed outside the B double doors. Nobody was there. And he had no time to come back for a plant. Yeah, Ryu's reading the rule out there. Usual rules if no contact on a round and someone crashes, lags out, it can be replayed. Pretty common. Yeah, I mean, that's true. It is. I mean, I know it is unfortunate because maybe energy we're looking to attack a little bit faster, but you don't know that for sure. Not to mention, Peter just got super unfortunate. Regardless of what happened, Peter, they lose the round because Peter tagged a dude through the double stack box and didn't exactly. even realize he did, but, so Uber still gets two frags out of it. But the rule is somebody, no, no contact. There was a contact. There was a wall shot. Nifty was down to 13 HP. I don't remember that. Yes, he had 13 HP, like, trying to cross mid-double doors. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, I have 100%. to look back and see that. 100%. Nonetheless, though, looks like we have gone over that and continuing live. 14 to 14. Four spy coming in for Energy Esports. Looking to battle back to bring this to a third map. Yeah, now it. it is. Yeah. Silent falling. So you're going to add Dustin. Go ahead. No, no, no. Just go ahead and take it over. All right. Two guys are spotted at mid, at mid side. Two pistols going to work. Mid that a third. They open to be bomb site. Mainline's already rotated towards the CT spawn, though. It's a three-on-two situation. Legi only has five HP. At least they have some guns that they picked up. So an op, an M4, and an AK-47. As Uber is just around the corner. Legi wins that with five HP! So that is a huge call right now for Mainline to save his gun. And wow. not only that, it is now map point for Energy Esports. Mainline at this point might be able to save it, might not. Legi is going on a hunt. That being said... Selfless is going to be on a force buy with nothing left in the bank no matter what. So that could be a good karma. At least Baneline spots Legia, and the last two guys are spreading outside the map to try to hunt him down. I mean, Legia just won that round with a pistol. That's insane what he was able to do over on that B side of the map. I mean, this is where Selfless had, you know, energy up against the ropes. They had a great opportunity to go ahead and move this to map point in their own favor as they had the superior economy. They they had the opening pick with Nifty getting that op kill on Catwalk, but somehow Legia just blows it all up. And now it's exploded in Selfless' face, and it's energy who have it at map point. Money reset on Selfless. Look at this. They had the op for Nifty, but what else do they have? 
not much, just some pistols. I mean, a Mag 7 on mainline, they are struggling out there. Meanwhile, Energy, they're pretty much fully decked out. And, you know, they're just one round away from winning the game in regulation, where it's helpless. Need to just do a miracle run here to get this to overtime. So, all has still worked out for Energy, it seems. But we'll see if they can go ahead and finish the job. Well, and move on to cash. No matter what, remember, it's nifty with a knot. So, it could be enough. And look how aggressively he's playing. Pushing yeah, he knows he needs tunnels. to make a play, so he's trying to force the issue. I mean, they need to play out of as well. Exactly. He has support as well. It's two guys with him inside that B-Tunnels. Now to get so much information by clearing out this B-Tunnels, if they see nobody there on that catwalk, especially with uh, with the uh, mainline playing there with the Mag 7, you know that they're still holding back towards T-Spawn and looking to possibly execute at long A. But Energy pretty much knows that the aggressive play is coming through. That's where they're staying back towards T-Spawn for such a long time. Now they're flying in to try to commit towards long, and they're so far behind to try to go for the, for the flank yet. Yeah, I mean, they do get some damage on Peter, but now that long A has been taken, Nifty could get his op. They're going to trap a player in T-Spawn. They're going to get Peter's gun. I think that might be another op. Yes, it will be yep. for Relics. And Mainline, he's in the site with the Mag 7. Maybe he can slow them down, but he does some damage to Legia. He's staying alive. Oh, he finds oh a God. kill on the Justin. Oh he finds God. another kill. And my goodness, Selfless, they might just put this into overtime after all. And they do. What a game this has been. It deserves an overtime, to be honest. It's been so insane, the plays that we've seen throughout this game. All right, so this is where this is going to overtime and everything could pretty much reset. All this BS about this whole not live live kind of thing is where both teams now have the opportunity yeah, to just keep it, uh, put it behind them and try to win this map on either side, Selfless or Energy Esports. But again, yes, it, it can be definitely frustrating to start, but at least... The positive out of it for Energy Esports is that they're still in this game. Yeah, I mean, they, they won a crazy round off of Legia having some antics with the pistol and B. I mean, there was a great chance that Selfless were actually going to win that in regulation. But, I mean, the play from Legia at least ensures an OT, but then an equally crazy force by play in the end there out of Selfless gets them into overtime regardless. So, this has been a crazy game, man. Lots of Lots of sick plays, lots of you know, crazy mistakes and just, I don't know. It's been, it's been everything you could ask for. It's been a fun game. Let's not take away from the pistol round of the second half from Relics. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just big that plays all across the board. That was yeah. insane. Probably one of the craziest pistol round clutches I've seen. I thought Shroud was a turret with the AK-47. Yeah. and He won that two versus one. But Relics definitely puts a cherry on top for tonight's matchup yeah i think every time i've casted a game with you for cs so far in na mm -hmm. dust there's been some crazy plays and some really really questionable plays yeah. as tk's self suicides even even when you looked at that round from uh was it was it mitch or was it mainline Whoever won that one versus one against Peter, right? When they were on that on that save, I think it was Nifty. Yeah, it was, was Nifty. Nifty. Went in and got that, that full defuse. It's also a Peter crazy round. The crazy round where Peter tagged Uber through the boxes, but didn't realize it. And then Uber gets two kills at middle and wins the round. Like that was yeah. pretty insane. Also, like there was just so many crazy moments. Um, I think Selfless made maybe a couple more mistakes than Energy did. I mean, they did lose a, a force buy around the Legio one round, which really hurt them when they could have won the game there. They also could have won the game forever ago, and they lost that 4v2 retake on B that led to a double save, and so they lost three rounds off the back of that. Um, they had plenty of opportunities to win this game in regulation. I think Selfless has been the better team this game. They've just seriously made the most mistakes, though, at the same time, so it's kind of kind of taken away from it a little bit, and that's why we're in this situation. Well, guys, this is the second qualifier for Sevo Pro League season number nine. Whoever wins this one will face off against Luminosity Gaming. And I'm saying winning this one is in the series. We'll face off against Luminosity Gaming in the sef semifinals to see who will play against CLG for that second spot in NA to make it to the finals in London, England at the Gfinity Arena. First seed was already taken away by Optic. Uh, when they won the first qualifier. On the other side of the pond, so far, uh, we have Virtus Pro. Yep. Uh, that has the first seed and the second one as the bracket is still going through. Make sure you guys give a quick follow to us at PlaySevo 
uh, on Twitch.tv so you guys could see actually during the daytime all the European matches, even evening time, depending where you guys are, are watching it from. Yep. So the schedule right now is that we're going to have that match tomorrow night between the winner of this match and Luminosity. And then Sunday night, we're going to have the finals between CLG and the winner of all what we just discussed to get that second slot. And then I think there might be a little bit of a break period with the major coming up for us. Mm -hmm. uh, but then we are going to continue on throughout the rest of the month of April to get those other two qualifiers complete and get us situated for LAN at the end of April. So, yeah, it's not lots of CS going to be here for EU and NA. So, yeah, definitely follow up if you don't mind to catch all that. I hope I survive my weekend because, unfortunately, I won't be here tomorrow to broadcast um, the LG match versus the winner of this because uh, it is Easter weekend. I'm actually driving back home to Montreal. But this is the first week of spring. And in Toronto and Montreal, I don't know if it's – the same thing along the rest of Canada, but they're actually mm -hmm. calling upon uh, freezing rain, um, snow, regular rain, and they're advising us not to drive on the road, but I've already made plans and commitments to go back to Montreal to see the fam uh, for the weekend. So, pretty Volvo that I survive, and I'll come back to uh, broadcast a little bit more of the third and fourth qualifier for NA. Indeed. I hope to see you there on the other side of the of of life are you asking that i, that <laughs> I don't survive i left it purposely ambiguous for okay. you to mull over while okay. we wait for this okay. half to start all right well it is going live ladies and gentlemen we have readied up so it is the first round of overtime between energy esports and selfless energy esports starting off on the terry side that's the uh, half that they ended with and selfless on the CT sign. We have Nifty, Mainline, Mitch, Uber, and Relics versus Peter, Legia, Silent, Gobby, and Justin. And we have a double op set up with Relics opting towards B most likely and Nifty opting towards oh, wow. A. But they both peak mid first and Peter and Gobby has already fallen down. Yeah, that was kind of crazy for themselves. I don't think I've ever seen them go that heavy-handed at opping middle. Oh, that barrel's been spotted by Sonic, though. He knows one's behind Xbox. It's going to give Leggy the, the heads up to start actually spamming through. And he will go ahead and get the kill on Nifty as he Ooh. falls back. And so, Energy, they've evened up the odds. All that opping that took place at middle that gave Selfless the advantage, it's all gone now. It's been all for naught. I love Great that. recovery by Energy. Not live, not live. <laughs> no, it, it is live, guys. Three versus three. Funny. First round of OT. As we have the bomb drop intentionally outside barrels. And let's see what they're going to try to do right now towards the rest of energy. They're actually kind of split up, right? They're trying to take control of long. Ooh, they're trying Mitch to take control, control of mid and lower B. Yeah, but if it comes down towards this lower B, Legia is still there. That is true. But if he just holds his, his patience, he could get like a nasty flank later on. Oh, he's about to get it. Legia is looking towards mid only. He's on top of the Xbox. The timing is huge. The timing, the oh my. Not traded out there, and the bomb is going to make it up. 38 seconds left on the clock. They have to commit it towards this long A, and also Catwalk. Meanwhile, Justin has won that fight against Mainline, but that's bad, bad smoke. smoke. At least the Molly there, preventing Relics maybe from... No, he's going to be a perfect site for him to opt there. But at least it's planted for Justin at long. Yeah, it is. I mean, it was a bad smoke, but luckily the bomb was already actually inside the slide. And so now it comes down to this crazy 2v2 situation, as we are going to see Mitch. He's had a rough game so far, but we'll see if he can make a play here. He's coming up catwalk. He gets a nice flash on the slide, but Sonic's able to crouch and recover. And now he'll be able to re-peek out here. Relics does find the out kill, but that bomb is planted for Justin inside pit. He's got an AK. Relics going to try to step out here with the op and see if he can't put him down. Shots aren't connecting. Relic's trying to buy time. Justin hits Ooh. that shot, but Mitch is sticking to the fuse. Is Mitch going to be able to get it? Yeah, oh. Justin can't hit the shots. And That's what a round that was. That round literally sums up this game. So many crazy situations like this have happened. Yeah, you would have wished the opposite too, right? When they had that plant for long, you would have wished it was silent inside that pit because he did have the off and Justin with yeah. the AK. Unfortunately, yep. that wasn't the reality of the situation and energy loses this first round of ot at least to get the bomb plant plenty of money right now to go for another full buy here they were ready to go for another aggressive peak towards mid no because relics only has an m4 to work with this time meanwhile we are trying to take control of long justin's already there but he's there by himself 
Yeah, that smoke's gonna kind of separate him from his team, but the CTs may not know that he's blue bin. They actually can look, depending on where he's standing, you might be able to see the feet under it. But no, Uber's gonna walk right out there. Had no idea that they beat the timing on that smoke. And so Justin, he's gonna get his team an instant five versus four. They're gonna start crossing out Cat. And if he has to put up a stand, and he is gonna find a frag. Oh no, unfortunately, Ooh. Justin burns down. Wow, okay. I didn't get to catch that, but look at where Silent is. Yeah, Silent's at the elevator site. He might be able to catch Nifty. Nifty's looking back towards the CT spawn. He's actually going to move up towards that. That could be a big mistake here. Actually, it's smoked out towards CT spawn, so Silent could actually move up and try to get that kill. But as you see them trying to move up towards this catwalk side, I think maybe they should have tried to go for maybe some sort of fake towards B to force Nifty out of his position. So I'm wondering if you're going to count on Ligia to try to do that. You can tell Nifty's aware that it's a possibility someone's pushing him. You can see how he's scoped in between cats so he can have the shorter flick distance, but it doesn't matter. He's going to miss his shots on it, opens up this A-bomb site. Mainline will hold on the long A control. This will allow his team in B to begin to rotate, and they can try to go for the retake here. That's right. So they're going to have two guys coming in from CT spawn, but Ligia is waiting at the mid-double doors. He hears the first one rotate. He hears the second one as well, and Relics drops silent. You still have one more coming towards Long. Peter's going to try to hold back towards the elevator side from that molly. Legia, meanwhile, capitalizes the kill onto Mitch. The cross, he misses the option, unfortunately. But Not at least the bomb cat. is fired for it? him. Yes, it is. It has partial box cover, doesn't They're it? They're going to smoke it out, though. Now Peter's going to miss the shot, and this is going to be huge. Mainline's going to stick it with the kit. Could be the second time. Peter burns down, and that's it. That's another bomb coming through. Are you kidding me? I mean, to be fair, he didn't have a choice. He had to try to push through the fire and get the kill. He just couldn't find it. And another just round full of shenanigans, dude. So many people in awkward positions, crazy maneuvers. Like, it's just been such a mixed bag for both these teams. But Southless here in overtime, they found two rounds already. They had the double out set up in effect here. We are seeing energy as well. Let's get a second op. We're going to see that crazy mid battle again, and Leggy is going to suffer from it. Peter missing the shot as he spots Mitch on the top of the elevator side. Sign trying to take control of Long, but look how aggressively they're pushed up on the CT side. Uber's all the way up towards the barrels. Op shot missed by Nifty on Xbox. It's an op battle at lower B, and they both run out of it. Silent fully blinded, gets the kill onto mainline as they're going to try to fall back into control here, but they don't know that Uber is pushed up. Copy Elise wins that fight. They spotted the bomb. The rotate's going to come across, maybe. Nope, it's going to stay calm. So one guy at A, one guy at mid, and one guy at B. That is going to be for Nifty, Mitch, and Relics to try to win this round for energy, or for Selfless, rather. So in both rounds in this OT, we've had Selfless get an opening pick, still wind up falling a man behind, but then somehow winning a retake anyhow. So will that happen again is the question. Is that going to be, you know, the plot line for this entire OT half? Is Selfless getting a good start? Losing it, but then still coming back from behind. Okay, energy finally closed one out. Peter looking to do that. Now it's a four on two. Only ops left here for selfless. One player in B. Nifty here and CT spawn that bomb is headed towards the back of B. Relics is going to be here with the ops, so he might get gifted a frag. That's one. Gobby's about to peek out. Bunny hopping already inside the side. I don't think Relics knows that. Oh, uh, but here's the footsteps now. Misses the shot, unfortunately. Justin about to come out for the support. Meanwhile, Nifty has fallen at mid as well. So at least they put one point on the scoreboard. But that could have been three that came into Energy's favor just due to bot plant positions yeah. that were in their favor. And so in regulation, um, I think both teams had a better CT side, right? 9-6. Both teams CT sides. Uh, so, I mean, the, the fact that Selfless had, you know, two to one on CT side over time, one half is kind of fits the pattern that we've been presented for this game thus far. So it's going to be whether or not Selfless can break the mold and find the T rounds to close out the game, whether or not energy can run the board or, or force a second overtime. I mean, that's what we're looking at here. Well, immediately going live right now. Energy Esports definitely wants to set the tone by winning this round early. Pushing two guys aggressively down towards long support from Peter as well. If needed be, he was going to be able to flash for his teammates to come out. But as it stays calm, they fall back and play the passive play. Peter's going to be opping on top of Catwalk. 
You have Ligia playing towards CT spawn. Two guys inside B and one guy inside pit for energy. So mainline has this second op in lower B tunnels, trying to see if he could spot anyone pushing. Cat not going to be the case. Meanwhile, Nifty's op still trained on mid, so really both ops now peeking through doors. Uber will hold B tunnels, and, and usually when Uber's playing in B tunnels, it's because they are looking to do some type of mid B split, and Uber's kind of the entry fragger that attacks through the tunnels route. So I guess that's what they're looking to do. Things are remaining very calm for Selfless right now. A little bit of nades being thrown. But they still keep Energy Esports guessing. I think they might have hurt Nifty's scope right now, though, at least for a spawn, him. yeah. So he's going to peek out, gets the kill before even the smoke looms. That is a huge win for Ligia to start. They're moving down towards long. But Catwalk is going to be where the action's at. And Relic's also working towards Blue Dumpster. Gets two kills and turns the tables around for Selfless. Two guys up my shoulder. Ligia spawns the first one. Getting the kill onto Mitch, but quickly traded back by Mainline. There's 26 seconds left on the clock. Justin actually has the bomb. It's a two versus two, and he's going to smoke it out. And Cinder Grenade has no idea that Mainline's close out, though. Trying to get the P250 kill. Le lurking back to trying to get the op shot, but to no avail. Silent now. Full through the smoke. Relic's trying to spam through. 10 seconds left on the clock. Trying to run away right now. What nope. around. Silent lines them both up. How do all these awkward situations just keep happening time and time again, especially in this overtime? This has just been insane, dude. So crazy how this has played out. As that was a round that Selfless had the advantage, Relics kind of given Energy a taste of their own medicine by getting that blue bin timing and catching a couple of kills at long A, but then the bomb gets dropped at middle and that just kind of kills Selfless' momentum in the round. Now we're going to see Nifty with the long ace one. He's going to take the op here. He does spot a player, but he can't land the shot. He's getting chased down now due to the nade damage. Gavi just going to keep pushing him, and Nifty will oh actually respond, though. Yeah, I don't know if that was the right choice to try to chase him on his own. Knowing that how passive Selfless have been playing every single round here, he should have expected an ambush. That's an early one-man deficit for Energy Esports. Justin playing close towards the doors. But really, Selfless not moving away from their position as of yet. The only guys that you can see really trying to get some action and some information are Mitch and Uber both lined up. But only one dying, and it's going to be Uber. Peter counter flashing and getting a tear grenade. Going to try to hold it with the AWP, and he has to connect. Switches over to P250, puts him down to 4 HP, as it's now a two man advantage for Selfless. Yeah, so now they've been able to trade more efficiently, and at this point, Energy hasn't had a response for it. So Silent left all alone here with the M4 and a 1v4. He's going to try to start pushing up here from CT spawn onto the slope. They've already crossed Cat, so he's missed his ability to stop that from happening. He's going to fall into Nifty's crosshair, and Selfless, they have at least guaranteed themselves a second overtime. But they do have the ability to, you know, take the game here and now 2-0 the series and move on to play Luminosity tomorrow. We are going to see still, you know, a nice full buy out of energy. The money's still there because they won the first round. Peter pushing through, so aggressive, spots mainline, peace out, but traded out by Nifty onto Gob B, meanwhile. So an early four on four. Peter looking back towards War B, misses a shot, unfortunately. Actually, no, he tags him. He got the wall bang, yeah. He did put him down to 69 HP for Relics, who falls back up towards Upper B, but that's not enough damage yet. Still enough HP for Relics to get something done here towards his B bomb site. Maybe he's just going to put that Lurk roll for Look now. Look Peter. He's just going to push Cat now. He is oh, yeah, just, he's angry. He's angry. He's looking to make plays. Beast mode. Peter, when he gets angry, he turns purple. That's why his leg's purple. It's not because of an injury. It's because of his anger. Oh, look at Leggy's angle here. He could just rip these guys apart. It's such a tight choke point that they have to come out of. He's going to put a smoke up, though. He's actually moving very close. Mitch is about to move up here. Three guys up there. He hears a scout as well. Oh, this is so dangerous, and he has nothing to work with. Meanwhile, Relics has fallen down at B. So the last three will have to commit towards the long side. He's fully blinded, forced to fall back. He does get one kill. Bomb is now picked up by Nifty and Uber. Three versus two, one minute advantage, 34 seconds left on the clock. Can NRG Esports bring this to double overtime, or will Nifty and Uber clutch this? Crossing right now through this smoke. Peter is fully blinded, and Uber is moving up. Hiding behind the bomb side, misses that quick scope, 
and Uber connects and capitalizes on the kill. Justin running through the smoke. 16 seconds left on the clock. Uber with an AK. One coming up on Catwalk. He's gonna try to go for the flag. Justin's going for the jump peek and Silent gets the kill on Catwalk. And we are going into double overtime. This game has just been absolutely crazy. <laughs> the way this has played out. Southless there, had themselves a 4-4, four four, couldn't do it. Weird to see Relics, I mean, couldn't know that they were doing a double crossfire out close on B-Tunnels like that, but he just kind of threw his life away, and Southless unable to come up with anything after that there on the late long. And so now we're in another OT. This time the golden number is 22. Otherwise, we will see a 21 split for a third OT. It's actually, I think, the first game we've had on the NA side of things, at least, in, in the Evo qualifiers go to a second overtime. We've had a couple of single overtimes, but I haven't uh, seen a double in a while. I guess it's going to be an all-nighter before could be. I go to work tomorrow. Yep, might possibly be, man, especially if we see a map three. Feels bad, man. So I bet you're, you're rooting for selfless here. I'm rooting for anybody. I, I'm, this game is actually quite exciting that I feel that energy wasn't able to justify how good they could be from that spanking that they got in that first map when they lost 16 to five. If anything, I would love to see this to go to a third map where maybe, hopefully, they could upset Selfless because in my opinion, I've seen Selfless play a lot on cash when they do quite well, at least from my experience with the minor. Hopefully, yeah, Energy I, Esports could bring something up. Yeah, I think Selfless is a, is a pretty good cash team, so I think they're still well suited there, but it's about Energy just trying to get there. I mean, is the thing. Asan is going to try to make a play here at B-Tunnels. He's creeping out. Uber trying to keep an eye on it. But Justin's going to be there for the quick trade. Uber first kill. Oh, Uber no. Uber second kill. Yeah, that did not work out at all. Yeah, Uber has been uh, on point with the way he's been entry fragging today. And s never mind. Everybody is. We're starting to see Inferno all over again. Already, Peter is at 3 HP as he is trying to bunny hop inside the site. Uber puts him down to 3. At this point, on this 4 versus 2, they have to try to save their guns inside yeah, B. Yeah, absolutely. But already, when Uber spotted those two guys and also put Peter down to 3 HP, you could maybe see Selfless going in on that hunt. That's why Relics is already flanking from T-Spawn. They're blocking the coverage from the lower B as well. They know that they're saving at B right now. And they're exactly. closing in. I mean, it's important to get these guns down, too, because of their ops, for one, heavy investments. And if they can win the next round, Energy won't really have anything to work with in the third round of the half. So this is this is exactly why Energy are saving. They realize that money could still, you know, get to them at the end of the half. So they will save the two ops, however. So it's not going to go too heavy-handed with the chase. But that was a very dominant round. I mean, Uber just catching the play at B-Tunnels by himself. I want to see this happen again, where Nifty and Mainline, or I guess it was Nifty and Skyler, that were often aggressively towards mid-double doors on CT side before. Now I want to see Nifty and Mainline do it, and Peter and Silent do it, to try to see if they could turn things around for energy side, but they're going to decide to smoke it instead, play it more conservatively for our team energy. As they have two guys inside B, Ooh. three guys at long, trying to take control of that side. I know they have Nifty trapped on the right-hand side there. They're going to use some flashes to get Nifty out of there. Smart move. Better utilities wasted. But at least to a positive aspect because they got one of their key players still alive and still going to try to get a pick inside this B area. But um, instead going to need also a smoke that's going to calm things down, calm things down a bit. Mainline scoping through. Lagiria hears him just across the double doors. Pop flash and try to walk in. He gets the first kill there onto Nifty. But Mitch jumps on top of the Xbox and gets the refrag. A good trade here by Selfless. It does give them a slight edge. The rotates can be long on this map. They still do have Uber tucked in the B tunnels here. But they are trying to work up Cat. It's going to be all up to Peter's op. Is he going to be able to put a stop to this Cat cross? That's going to be the big play. Rug's also going to come late long, but Gobby's still in pit. So that's the key matchups. What's Peter do with this op? And this Gobby hold relics off. That's going to kind of determine the fate of this round. Can he hold it right now, Peter? Looks like they're going to might try to drop. No, towards CT spawn, I thought so. But it's actually prevented smoke from Peter. Here we go, They're main line, looking over. to boost up, exactly. He's about to peek out. Big flash by Peter, 20 seconds left on the clock now. They have to commit pretty much towards this A side. Uber has B, though, that's yeah. the problem. But, but it, it no doesn't time. matter. 
Oh, the that's the kill, though. Shot, that's the exactly. one. He had to land it. He didn't. And now Selfless is about to put a second point on the scoreboard. Yeah, that was the key frag. Everything else really didn't matter up until Mitch got that kill on Peter. Because even though Uber did all this great work at B, it didn't matter. They could never get the bomb there in time. So Peter still just had to make sure he could win his fight. It didn't happen for him. And so Selfless, they take a huge edge now. Because again, it's been the CT side that both teams have kind of favored so far this match. And now, you know, Selfless are two for two on their T side in this second overtime. So this is doing them a lot of good. And as we mentioned before, money's getting title energy, actually. They're actually run out of cash. Uh, they can still get an op on Peter, though. He has 6K. But you got guys like Justin and God B who can't afford M4s. So there's a scout out on Justin. There's a Mag 7 on God B. They're, they're definitely hurting for utility over there on the CT side. So Selfless, I mean, this might just tip it in their favor. Four ops to, to pick mid here to start with. No hits. Who do you think you are, Fnatic? I mean, Nip invented it in 2012, but okay. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but they're irrelevant today. Oh, wow. Got the kill on to Nifty. Shots indeed from a Mag 7. One minute advantage. What is this round? Two minute advantage with this, such an aggressive peak towards his B side. Mainline and Mitch evens up the tally with a kill in B and mid, respectively. So it gets even back up to a three on three after all, despite how that started off. Looked a little bit nasty there for Selfless, but now they're back into a winnable situation. Still both teams with two ops in their hands. A little bit of a tight crossfire here on the doors for energy at middle, which is left B wide open. That's where the bomb is headed. Relic still holding people in place over here at A, which has got to be in the pit. Let's refocus on the action right now. We are still trying to lurk inside B for their T side, and it's actually open. It they is. Actually they actually leave that site. They're going to try to put yep. the retake for our energy. They're looking to cut relics off. That's the thing. And if they can do that, they get a 3v2 retake. But relics, in fact, picks off Justin. So now it's the B bomb site lost, bomb down, and a main advantage for Selfless. Wall bang there, putting one down. That's Mitch to 25 HP. One hiding in the back of the site. Relic still lurking towards the mid side. Scott B is also so lit at 16 HP remaining. He's going to have to try to play close. Main line, that's it. It's going to be three unanswered rounds on T side. You can see it. Just a desperate spray. They're calling GG? Not GG yet. Is it? You got to get 22. Did I miss it? Yeah, it's weird. They're all calling GGs already, but... They need to win one more round. Is my math off? No, their math's off in the in the game. Mitch has corrected it. Still one I'm more. I'm used to FPL. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, they're gonna come back. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's just what this game needed. All the other laughs we've had. We'll laugh about that one. All right. I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let it go. So 21 to 18, series point right now for Selfless against Energy. And Energy uh, are looking to win three rounds in a row to bring this to a third overtime, because that's really much the only thing that they have left in order to stay alive and bring this to the tiebreaker map, which is going to be on cash if needed. Yeah, I mean, Selfless really made a bold statement there in that second OT half, though. I mean, getting all three rounds from the T side, the side that both teams have had a bit more uh, struggle on in comparison to their CT side. So, I mean, they've really set themselves up well to, to close this game out this time around, I think. So I think the 2-0 now is, is looking pretty likely. I mean, don't get me wrong. Energy can still construct a decent enough T side to perhaps 3-0 themselves and get us to a triple OT, but... I think the mental edge might be in Selfless's favor. And I think Selfless has really beat themselves in a lot of rounds that they have lost, to be honest. I think they have outplayed Energy most of the game. It's just been mishaps here and there that have allowed Energy to stay in the game because Energy are, are definitely a good enough team to take advantage of your mistakes. I think so. even at that point, I, I feel like Energy beat themselves just by 
already the GG's being called. Maybe, I don't know. Yes, maybe they threw themselves off, but they were pretty much ready to give up and disconnect right away, right? So, well, yeah. let's transition over to the second half of the second overtime, waiting for one more to ready up. And that is going to be Relics, the pistol I god of this map. I mean, maybe Chad can help me out here. In FPL, does it end if like a 3-0 shutout happens, despite the fact you haven't won the max rounds yet? Is that like a thing? I didn't know that. Because they keep talking about how they were confused because of FPL rules. So, yeah, I don't know. That's weird. Maybe chat can help me out there if they watch any of the FPL streams. I've never seen an OT when I've watched one. Oh, FPL's MR5, so they just go off of 20. Yeah, I got it now. Okay. That makes sense now. Well, we are live here in the second half. Second OT, double up set up for Nifty in mainline. And they do have Nifty already opping aggressively towards the entrance of B and Relic's about to push up as well. Ligia waiting for them on the other side. And he makes his presence known at least from that pre-fired shot from the AK-47. This is a mirror image situation to what happened with Uber when he caught two kills on people pressing B-tons. But Leggy is not going to stick around long enough exactly. to spot it. Exactly. He falls back and now... They have control of RPB for a selfless. One guy holding towards CT spawn, they could actually run through this and then pinch back towards B where Uber. the CTs will have to play a retake. Will this spot yield Uber a round winning moment again? The Gia though opens it up onto lower B, so they knew that Nifty brings it back. Now they're gonna smoke it and spam it, but he's still alive. Oh, is it gonna huge. happen again, Vansily? Maybe. I oh think no! So. It is. He's about to take down Silent with success. Bomb is moving towards Upper B, and that's it. They off him down 22 oh to 18. My. Selfless wins this 2 0 in the series, 22 to 18, and also 16 to 5 on the first map of Inferno. Oh, they man. will move on to face off against Luminosity Gaming, and unfortunately for Energy Esports, they fall out of the second qualifier because it is single elimination, but they will have a chance on the third or fourth. All I have in my head right now is that meme of, like, it's happening with Patrick Stewart, you know? No. You don't know? Okay. No. Well, because, I mean, it just happened again, that, that whole situation. Is it Patrick Stewart? It kind of looks like it. Maybe it's not. But anyway, uh, it's kind of that crazy situation where Uber from the, the boosted position is going to uh, get the kills there. Again, the close of the game. And the D2 game is hard to analyze. A lot happened. Not really going to break it all down. But definitely, I think Selfless was just always a little bit ahead of energy. They made a few mistakes. Had a lot of energy to you know get the game back close, even get it into overtime. Uh, but Selfless still do come out on top and win it uh, to 2-0 the series. So they will move on to play Luminosity tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we will everyone making fun of me it was definitely Ron Paul and not Patrick Stewart got me anyway so yeah we're gonna have Selfless going on to play Luminosity tomorrow in the semifinals winner that moves on to play against CLG uh, so thanks so much for tuning in everyone uh, be sure to follow up here on Twitch if you have not already so you can catch our future games for Pro League as there's still plenty more Pro League to go on throughout the rest of this month and April. You can also give a follow to us casters if you'd like to. It's at Dust Moret and at Vance Lily. Our names are in the title of the stream and you can also uh, type exclamation point casters inside chat to uh, get uh, the links there as well. And yeah, folks, thanks so much for tuning in and we will see you next time. This is Dust Moret and Vance Lily signing out.